probably just get up that pocket and dump it. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe I'll. go we got John <laughs> just uh, got the ascent on the problem 512a at Stover how'd it go for you Good. first try of the day <laughs> nice what you guys didn't see is we spent like a solid hour and a half cleaning it so but so. it needed it some of the dirt get that dirt off good now though go get absolutely it. go get it <laughs>
Here we are with Andrew after the son of Neanderthal, 5'8", and officer of the state park. Yeah, so this is a super classic at Stover. Uh, first one up in, I think, 53. Uh, it was one of the first 5'8s in the park and even one of the first dates on the East Coast. Uh, didn't get repeated until probably about five years later. How'd you feel about the Ascend? Uh, not my best work. I've been on it once a year ago and thought I remembered all the gear, but some of it didn't quite work out how I thought. But yeah, you seemed excited when you got past the the lip at the top. I was, yeah. It's it's burly, but I mm -hmm. made it through. So yeah, you're like using it all for. type of wedges. Uh, thumbs up. Good cool. go.
it's rolling. Alright. Uh, uh, that was no self control. Five six. Mikey, you can put in the uh, the deeper information. Yep, the first ascent will be right there on first the bottom. Ascent. Subscribe here. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get this guy on the payroll. <laughs> Yeah, good sense. How'd you feel up there? Oh, it was nice. It was uh, maybe third or fourth trad lead of mine. Nice. Yeah, it's a really fun, good climb. I was getting, uh, getting, fam getting familiar with this place. Hell yeah. Spent a little time away, and then and as soon as I was getting outside, getting, like, ridding myself of the gym rat lamp, yep. I moved away from here. But now it's good to be back on the, uh, uh, what type of rock is this again? Uh, uh, it's Argolite. Argolite. Yeah. Argolite yeah. It's yep. good. yeah, you're gonna get back on that. Familiarize myself with Argolite shale around here. Oh hell yeah, dude! Now more we're about to. The get the smoother it gets. Yep. About to have Andrew hit up Hawk's Nest. Right. Yeah. Uh, I've been preaching the gospel of shale for probably ten years now. Absolutely. Easily superior uh, quality rock. Yep. Which is why I'm not gonna do the second pitch of this. <laughs> So what the, what does this go at? Five six, five seven? Uh, six, yeah. Six, cool. But it is definitely a classic. You guys should definitely get on it yeah. and so cut to the close. This is where you cut and paste uh, some info from the guidebook. We well, have bam! Right here. there. It's right there. <laughs> now we're back to Andrew. <laughs> Didn't spend enough time in your wheel bath.
Yeah. Give me a thumbs up, Andrew. Nice. <laughs> this just in, Andrew sent Hawk's Nest. Woo. Any final thoughts? Um, pretty good. The beginning was probably maybe as good as I ever did it and not as good as I ever did it, but the rest of the climb is pretty sweet. Um, one thing I would do different is maybe bring like a number two up with me next time. Cool. Well, bam, what's going on guys? That is a wrap. With the conclusion of Nameless Arete, uh, which is a 510C, um, which is the climb I climbed the other day, um, right next to Chain Reaction, which I did in Server Sessions 1, which is an amazing climb. Um, this one rivals it though, this one's pretty good. Um, it, I still don't think it's quite as good as Chain Reaction, but it, um, very beta intensive. There seemed like, it seemed like everything was chalked up. Um, it was like, it didn't matter if it was a bad hold, if it was an amazing hold. So um, basically I just wanted to on-site it since the last time, uh, which was probably like three years ago since I've climbed that climb. Um, mainly just because when we go out, we've been doing these Stoker sessions and trying to finish the series. So we never really got back to that um, wall, but it is an amazing climb. Definitely like one that's gonna get you stronger and make you feel, feel good. Um, and yeah, that's a wrap to Stover Sessions Episode 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it half as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Like I said at the end of Stover Session 1, the idea... Oh, God. The idea is to fall into water. No. The, the idea of this series in the first place was to showcase the best climbing that Stover has to offer. And yeah, it's not the best rock. It's not like the best climbing spot. But if you're in PA, um, local to it, it's a High Rocks Ralph Stover State Park. Um, it's beautiful. And... 
it's like a lot of the people that are watching this video are like 15, 30, even an hour away, and it's definitely worth the trip. And my idea is um, I am going to put up another video that's going to be like the whole Stover Sessions with every climb. It's going to be time stamped, uh, probably no music or like copyright free music. Um, and it's just going to be, you can go to it, you can select what climb you want to see. And I really do feel like we got every top notch, like three star climb that was in this book. Obviously that's subjective, you know, it was sort of just between me and my friends of climb, uh, in the climbing community, sort of around the Doylestown area. Um, and yeah, shout out to everyone that was in the video, everyone that had any part in filming um, and climbing in it as well. So it was a really fun series. I think this, this pretty much wraps it. I'm sure we could get more. Um, there was some talk about trying to get John Geiger, who was the um, who was one of the guys that put up first descents here a long time ago, um, but that never came through. And uh, but either way, I'm just happy to get this out. I just but um, and yeah, I just think that the series is pretty much ended here. And if we kept it going, it would be like some of the less exciting climbs, and it's just less motivating. We have really showcased and we have done what i set out to do so and what we all set out to do hopefully you guys enjoy it. don't forget to subscribe there will be more uh subscribe and i won't slip off this and die okay we're good uh but yeah i actually came out today to get some awesome dr drone shots which you probably saw water snake um and yeah i think i did just that so i'm gonna show you this water snake he ran away all right guys peace Till next time.